Train wheels are used on rail cars around the world. Passenger trains rely on them to transport people. Freight cars depend on them for hauling products. And the locomotives that pull these trains and freight cars count on them to keep people and products moving smoothly. This company has been making train wheels and axles for over 150 years. To start, an electric furnace melts recycled steel at about 1600 degrees Celsius. A gigantic bucket transfers the liquid metal into what's called a mold pit. Inside the pit, the metal fills eight molds from the bottom up creating steel ingots six meters long. A bandsaw cuts the cooled ingots into sections called wheel molts. Each molt weighs about 450 kilograms. To prepare the molts for forming into train wheels, automated machinery loads them into one door of this rotary furnace and they exit the other side at some 1300 degrees Celsius. A machine then places the molts into a high pressure water descaling unit that removes the outermost layer of metal. A press then squashes each malt like a marshmallow with 9000 tons of pressure forging it into the rough shape of a train wheel. The train wheel is 76 centimeters in diameter when a robot removes it from the press and delivers it to a rolling mill. The mill squeezes and shapes the wheel until it expands to 91 centimeters in diameter, a 20% increase. The train wheel then enters a final shaping press that punches out the hole where the axle will go. All excess material goes back to the melt shop for recycling. After heat treatment, a machine sprays the outside of the wheel with cold water which hardens the steel. Next, they machine the rim of the wheel and the axle hole. A worker then ensures they meet all specifications. Identified and labeled, the wheels are now ready for the axles. Axles start off as steel ingots that a manipulator feeds into a rotary forging machine. The machine rotates and hammers the piece gradually shaping the hot metal into an axle. The manipulator and the forging machine work as a team, ultimately shaping the axle to the required diameter and length. The axles then go through a heat treating process. Next, they machine the entire axle, removing all excess material and preparing it to accept the train wheel. Here, a wheel mounting press fits a wheel onto each end of the axle. A worker lubricates the axle and attaches a bearing. He then bolts on the end cap and secures it using a torque wrench. A crimper tool locks the bolts in place. Finally, the mounted wheel set rolls off the assembly line ready to install under a rail car. <laughs>